All right, guys, um, we're back. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how to set up a SQL database. Once you have your Windows Azure instance or your subscription already created, right? You get them right here. Um, you can go ahead and click on SQL databases. So say you have no SQL databases, right? You want to create one and get started. You don't have to go to servers, blah, blah, blah. For right now, just go to database, create a SQL database. Cool. All right. What are we going to call this server? or this, let's just call this database um, blog. Because why don't we just set up the main structure of what a blog would be, like what you do for Facebook or anything like that. Okay, so we're gonna go with web edition. You can go with business edition if you want to have a super maximum size. For right now, we're just doing one gigabyte because you gotta pay for this, right? Okay, um, collation, we're just gonna go with Latin, right? General, AS. You can choose whatever other option you want through here. Um, so stick with SQL Latin one, right? Um, choose a server. So the reason we didn't create it up here where the server thing was, is because right when you're creating the database, it's going to ask you if you want to create one. So go ahead and click the next one. We're going to do uh, login name. And login name is just going to be... Um, Let's do this Michael Arcan 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cool. I don't really know if a password. Can't tell you that real quick. Because I know a bunch of you people out there just break into people's stuff. Isn't great. You're watching tutorial, somebody's trying to help you, you know what I mean? Don't try to mess them up. Alright. So here we go. You're under region. It automatically defaults at Southeast Asia. Why? I don't know. Um, maybe it's a marketing technique or something, you know, because if your database is located in Southeast Asia, but you're hosting a website in the U.S., Microsoft Windows Azure is going to charge you for the data transfer from a different data center. Why? Because your database is clear across way over in Asia, which is going to provide a lot of latency, right? Because it's got to go through a lot of data centers to get here. Um, and so they're going to charge you a data transfer fee. So make sure, if we're going to do this, we can choose either West or East, U.S. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose West. Uh, I don't know why. I like to feel a little closer to the mothership Microsoft, I guess, over there in the West, U.S. So allow Windows Azure services to access the server. Uh, that's really important. Um, and they didn't fill out their tool box setting. It says Windows Azure access setting. This is a balloon. Okay. Um, so... Make sure that you know you check this so that your Windows Azure services that we're going to be creating later can access this server. So it's going to set up the right service accounts, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click check. And down here, remember this command bar. It's going to show you what's going on. This is your info. Successfully created server Y0 S0 S O C F S N Y0. Okay, create a database blog. All right, okay. So what we can go ahead and do here is if you click on blog, it's gonna take you into this, you created a new SQL database. You can quick start using the next time you visit so that you can actually see how to design your SQL database. Download a starter project for the SQL database. You can go up, you can set up firewall rules for this IP address, right? Um, I'm not going to show you that right now because I don't want you all to have my IP, okay? For all you little hackers out there. Um, and then connect to your database. So why is this important? You're going to have a firewall that you need to have rules set up so that you can access the service when you're behind a certain IP. And if you're not behind that one, you're not going to be able to use SQL Management Studio, okay? If you use SQL database connection strings, it's going to be super important right here. Um, so your password is going to be whatever password I put in here and connection strings. So, um, one thing, and we'll get to this in a minute, you're going to need these connection strings for, um, uh, management studio, right? Um, which is going to be in a SQL. We're going to get this through using, uh, um, visual studio 2013 express web edition that you're going to download connection strings, blah, blah, blah is right there. Timeout blah, 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 you can change those. So let's go ahead and go to dashboard here. You can see everything that's going on with your system, right? Um, 
you can actually go through and view applicable add-ons. So you can add add-ons over here. Uh, show your connection strings, learn about troubleshooting, business continuity in Windows Azure SQL database, manage allowed IP addresses. This is where you're managing your firewall IP address. Okay, here's your server name, very important because um, you're going to be using this and in your uh, SQL Server Management Studio if you want to. If not, you know, you can create the databases from here, but there's a lot of awesome things you can do with Visual Studio 2013, especially when it comes with data projects. Uh, you can make those so that you create, design your database in the data project, and then um, go ahead and run those scripts on your server, okay? Um, you can monitor, see how much you're using, if you had any deadlocks, failed connections, successful connections. You can scale um, these, which is pretty awesome that it allows active scaling. So you can go to business, um, you can change it to 10 gigabytes, 20, 150 gigabytes, but you're paying for it. Your web, you got one gigabyte or five gigabytes, okay? And then your configuration is going to be, um, you know, just your export status is automatic, automated export. So let's go ahead and I'm going to stop the tutorial there and we're going to download Visual Studio 2013. And um, we're gonna actually start working through creating um, one of these. But let me show you real quick um, using this manage button down here once you're in your blog or whatever you're calling it, click the manage button. It's gonna say, do you wanna add that IP? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to actually blur that out for you people out there that are mean. Okay, so it's gonna take me to manage.windowsazure.com Right. It's going to throw in my address here at so that they have that in the URL. So they're going to grab that context and then they're going to load me up. So since it's verified here, let's go ahead, go here. Um, come on. All right, let's manage. Oh, got to allow always. Okay. Looks like free trial subscription is expiring soon. It's not, I just did it today. Okay, all right. So blog, blah, blah, blah. This isn't working either, Azure. I don't know why, but that's their issue, okay? So normally you would come in here, select what it is under database, right? This blog, and then you could click in here and you click your manage and it would take you there. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna need Silverlight because it's still Silverlight. So let's click on this now to install. I'll leave this page real quick and then run this. Um, sorry guys, hopefully I got pretty super fast system and connection. So uh, I actually went out and bought all this new computer stuff for you guys, um, really, because my main thing is I love making tutorials for people not to show them what I know, no but to actually give them an opportunity to be able to step into something that is going to be the future of our world and to know that I had a little part of that, you know, just a sliver because you guys are the ones doing all the work um, really is pretty good for myself uh, as well. Um, it's good for you. So let's go ahead and I'm going to probably have to reload some of the stuff and click back here. It installed already. Click manage one more time. See if it'll bring it up. Oh, there we go. Cool. Silverlight. Leave this page. All right. It's going to load me up. Uh, and here, what's nice about this, this is where I'm going to enter my username that I had before, right? Michael Arcan2. One, two, three, four, five. Password. Okay. That's my database. Log on. Okay. Connecting. Uh, it normally takes a second, actually. I, I don't know why that is. Um, I think it's just because they're using a whole bunch of services inside of a Silverlight shell, probably Zap. Um, so um, here you can go ahead and see quick start, what's new, learn more about creating databases. You can look at administration. Um, you can create new federation. You can run new queries in here, but really it's not necessary. We'll get to the other. Then you can design and actually add new tables and their stored procedures right here. Okay, 
Uh, so we're going to get out of this because we're going to use Visual Studio 2013 data tools. All right. Talk later, guys. <laughs> talk later, guys. Talk to you guys next tutorial. Uh, we're going to actually use Visual Studio uh, 2013 Express Web with data project.